right, um, for those of you that don't know me, uh, my name is Ashley. I'm Courtney's cousin. Um, just a little bit about um, how I know Courtney so well is that we grew up together, so um, both of our families lived in Whitefish, so growing up since we were really little, we spent um, countless hours together. Uh, so that's um, really where our relationship developed and has grown throughout the years. Um, when we were about elementary school, we could be seen um, every Friday night at the home football games being water girls um, for the Bulldogs. And then as we got into high school, um, shared tons of games of volleyball and ran a lot of track together. So um, throughout all of our success and failure and um, everything like that, we really um, grew together and uh, became best of friends. And um, most people thought we were sisters, not cousins. So um, most of the time I just kind of roll with that and just left it that we were sisters. Um, <laughs> Uh, but we are a lot really different, actually, Courtney and I. We have very different personalities. Um, I'm just going to go through a few because the list could get long. Um, one is that Courtney loves to talk, and I'm one that is a little bit more quiet. So um, she does a lot of the talking. Uh, but Courtney's also a really good listener, so I am thankful for that in our friendship. Um, also, Courtney's very social, likes to plan events, um, basically fly by the seat of her pants, go out and do things, and if you know me, I'm more of a, I think I'm just going to stay in home tonight kind of person, so if Courtney wanted to hang out with me, it was usually just her coming to my house. Um, she dragged me out a little bit, but that's one of the, our differences, too. Um, a small thing, Courtney likes to paint her nails. I bite mine. <laughs> Courtney loves to do her hair, and mine rarely sees a brush. <laughs> um, Courtney has a really awesome uh, fashion blog. If you don't follow it, you can follow it. <laughs> Shout out to whatever the what was it? <laughs> 114 was. <laughs> I follow it. I just have never been on it. <laughs> Probably because I just live in sweatpants and I think I do own a pair of Crocs and that's definitely not going to be on the list of what makes it. Um, but despite all of our differences, I think that's something that Courtney and I, um, the reason why we are so close is that we can just enjoy um, what each other has to offer and accept each other for that. And um, we complement each other really well in that way. So, David, if you don't make the fashion blog or you want to stay in for the night, I think she's still you're still going to get along just fine. Um, but really, I am truly thankful that Courtney um, and David found each other. Um, I grew up listening to Corey ta or Courtney talk about weddings. Um, so I don't actually have to listen to that anymore, even though I did not listen to it. And I think another joke kind of in the family was that Courtney has always been in, lo in love with the idea of being in love. She had this built up in her mind of what it was, but um, I'm really thankful that she actually really has found it, and I can see that in her. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? You're here. Huh? You're here. You're here. Oh, I do have one thing though. Um, just a really little gift here. Courtney is actually um, has a lactose intolerance now, and so she's um, kind of having to switch her diet around a little bit, but there is chocolate out there that is dairy-free, Courtney, so I'm going to give David some of that, so when he, um, so he will have it for when he just isn't enough for Courtney, because there will be some times that chocolate is the only thing that's going to help or take care of whatever it is, and so it's just a little, little helpful hint, but David, that's all for you, so I'm going to leave it here, though, because they have a couple things to help you out, too. Um, but that's about it. So um, I'm just really thankful to be part of Courtney's day today. Um, it's really fun for, for me to be here and to spend the day with our entire family because that's 
a huge part to Courtney. So, and I'm really happy to welcome David into our family as well. So, we're going to do one toast at the end, though. So, I'm going to pass it on. Hello. Um, oh. Hi. Uh, my name is Marie, and I um, met Courtney just through marrying her cousin Taylor. So, um, and I'm honored to be standing next to her today. It's an exciting day. Um, I have no cards because I'm not much of a public speaker. But uh, <laughs> so the first time that I spent, you know, a good chunk of time with Courtney was my first trip out to Montana, and we took a 20-mile hike to Como Pass and Glacier National Park. And honestly, the first 10 miles, she didn't stop talking about weddings and wedding rings <laughs> and marriage. And I was like, who is this girl? Like, this girl is really into weddings. But I think we can all attest to it really paid off, don't you think? I mean, she did a great job. <laughs> but one of the things that I always learned about Courtney is that she's all in. Um, whatever she's doing, whether it's wedding planning, blogging, coaching, or hanging out with youth group kids, um, she's always passionate about what she's doing. Um, so when she met David, nothing really changed. Maybe I saw her a little less, but I feel like she kept doing everything she loved because David has a lot of the same interests, like coaching, building relationships with kids, and you can work on the blogging part. <laughs> um, the first time Courtney and David had um, me and Taylor over for dinner, we had this amazing meal. I think it was like three courses or something really fancy. And I was like, gosh, I didn't know Courtney could cook. And then I quickly realized it wasn't Courtney, it was David. Um, <laughs> and so Courtney and David do complement each other really well. Um, David had a really messy little bachelor pad, but Courtney's already cleaned it and decorated it and made it this stylish little home. Um, David likes watching sports, and Courtney likes The Bachelor. Um, Courtney can't cook, and David can. <laughs> um, I'm losing my spot here. So even though they complement each other so well, I have a few items that David may need for his new journey. He begins with Courtney today. You are going to need a giant line of credit. This is a giant credit card because Courtney loves to shop. So there's that for you. Uh, and, we all, and we all know that a good cook needs some obscure kitchen utensils, like a potato masher. So I got you a potato masher. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> so I'm Shelby. Um, I'm not as good as them, so I'm going to look at my papers just because I'm really nervous. Um, I'm from Washington, and I grew up there, so I've known Courtney my whole life, but we went back to Montana every summer and, like, Christmas. Um, I got lucky the last two summers I got to go and live there for the summers, so that's kind of when me and Courtney got really close. Um, she is like a big sister to me. I'm really happy for you guys. I'm not going to cry. Um, but it's exciting for me because last summer um, is when these two kind of first stepped out of the friend zone. And um, I was able to kind of witness that. Like, David was like ghouly eyes over her. He wanted to dance with her all the time. We used to go down to the northern and swing dance. And um, it was cool to see somebody chase her the way he did and um, love her in that way. Um, so a little bit about Courtney starting when she was little, because I remember some of these times. Um, we used to play, like, house and some of these games, and we have a big family of cousins. And Courtney was always, like, the nurturing one, but would always boss everyone around. Like, you're, you're the dad, you're the mom, you're the pet. And she always had the best, like, role, and she always, like, she always had to control the situation of what we were doing. Um, another funny story, and my grandma shared it last night, but... Courtney had this cat, which is funny because those two just got a cat, which I can only hope that their future children don't do what Courtney did. But she had a cat, and she, like, treated it like a baby and pushed it around in a stroller, dressed it up in her doll clothes, rocked it like a baby, talked to it like her own child. So she'll be a good mom one day. Um, okay, I'm going to read because I don't know what else I wrote. Oh, I have to talk a little bit about David, too. So when I first met David last summer, the NBA Finals were going on. And at first I was like, who is this guy trying to pursue my cousin? 
who's like rooting against the heat the entire time, which is someone, who, that's my favorite team. And it continued on this last time too. Um, but the, luckily the finals ended earlier, so I got to know him on a whole nother level. But David hurt his foot last summer and was in a boot and like crutches at one point when him and Courtney first started like pursuing each other, I guess. And we always went down to the Northern to swing dance. And I remember being like, oh, David's not going to be there. Like, Courtney's not going to come. What are we going to do? David showed up, was on the dance floor, balancing on like one foot with a crutch in the air, like jamming to music. And I was like, this guy's awesome. Like, he's totally for Courtney. So that was a good memory. Um, I'm just going to wrap this up. But it's cool for me because um, I was able to be there last Christmas when they got engaged and now being here and it's kind of just I've gotten to see it grow even living so far away which is awesome um, let me get to my last page maybe I had too many thoughts I couldn't remember what I was going to talk about what no. No. Um, okay, I'm just going to read this because I think it's good. So I'm so happy Courtney finally found you. I can't think of someone better for her. I hope you know what you're signing up for because you're marrying our entire family. But you do fit in great, and I'm excited to add another number. Um, you guys are such an inspiration to me, seeing the way you guys honor God in your relationship and seek to know him more. My prayer for you too is to continue to love each other and honor him in all you do. Keep the chase for one another alive and your love story going. I love you guys and I'm glad we added another number to our family, number 28. Um, David, you've chosen a wonderful woman to be your wife and all I ask is that you take good care of her and always keep her laughing. just as much as Courtney do, does, but this isn't my wedding. So, <laughs> my gift for David is I put this little baggie together of ibuprofen and Tylenol and earplugs. <laughs> so, like, right now, like, you're just now living under the same roof as her, so you're not going to be able to filter out what you want to hear and don't want to hear yet. Hopefully, like, you won't have to use these in a couple years, but for now, like... Just, she'll keep talking to you. So just keep them in. She won't even know. Nod, smile. You're set. So I'm so happy for you guys, and I'm glad I could be here.